The investment universe is big, really big. Most people don't realize how vastly, mind-bogglingly big it is. You may think there are a lot of options on the BetaShares Direct app, but that's peanuts compared to the investment universe. An index is a helpful attempt at classifying investments. They're designed to simplify the huge investment universe into a simpler and smaller representative universe. Each index is basically a list of assets. For example, the ASX 200 is a list of 200 of the largest public companies in Australia. This list is representative of the Australian share market. Each of the 200 companies has a weighting in the index, and the larger the company, the larger the weighting in that index. As at the 15th of August, BHP is the largest company in Australia, with around a 10% weighting in the index. Smaller companies get a smaller weighting. Now, that's an index that is market cap weighted, where bigger companies get bigger weightings and smaller companies get smaller weightings. There are other indices that can be weighted by other things, such as profitability, equally weighted, or by other financial metrics. But the key is that an index is really just a list. An index fund is a managed fund, which is an investment vehicle that you can put your money into. The fund manager uses your investment to buy companies according to the index. Here's an example. Our A200 ETF invests in an index that contains the largest 200 companies in Australia. So why not just buy the largest 200 companies listed on the ASX yourself? Well, there's a few problems with that. Firstly, buying 200 different companies means 200 different transactions, and that means transaction costs from brokers. Buying 200 companies with a small investment in each is a quick way to rack up brokerage costs. Secondly, you have to find a way to calculate how much of each stock to buy in such a way that means you are holding a representation of the Australian market. An index fund alleviates all of these problems. They're generally very low cost and can be purchased in a single transaction. That's index funds, simply put.